Turn that freaking AC on because when I come back, I'm gonna need it. Yep, it happened. Did you guys see what occurred last night? Drake bowed down to Shady last night, man. I, I'm not even going to get into any more details. Here's the clip. Here's the video. I'm going to show you guys right here. Detroit! Make some motherfucking noise for Drake, yeah? Detroit! Make some noise! For the greatest rapper to ever get on a motherfucking microphone that goes by the name of Eminem. Legendary shit tonight. I'm not even sure what you're saying today. Yeah, it's an honor to share the stage with this man right here. Detroit, one more time. Make tracks with it home. No, so, here's how rap beef starts. It does start with a rumor, which is what happened when... The dude was on the radio. It started with a guy that's on Slaughterhouse, which is signed to Eminem's record label, right? He said, he told Drake at OVO Fest that Eminem had a, just a, a diss track ready for him. And then Drake kind of laughed and he said, you know, uh, that ain't gonna happen, but if it does, I got something for him. But I'm kind of curious what Drake would, what he has for him. I don't even believe that even happened. We're gonna find out later, but... I don't know, it's so, the only part that's confusing me is what would Drake have for Eminem? What would he be able to say against him if they did diss each other in songs? I bet that dude on radio sounds so stupid. When he says that Eminem has a diss track ready for Drake and Drake brings your boss out on the stage and shouts him out. I have a feeling somebody's straight about to get sneak dissed and I think it's the dude who was on the radio. I don't know his name, things like Kerbo or some weird crap like that. But you gotta think though. If Eminem and Drake would beef, I'm just gonna say Eminem would destroy him, dude. That shit. Drake, people that's Drake fans would be like, oh shit, you know, his diss would went hard or whatever. No, dude. You don't know shit about underground rap if you're thinking Drake is gonna beat Eminem in a rap battle. Have you listened to Eminem's disses? Have you literally studied them like I have? Like, I grew up listening to Eminem, 50, Dre, D12, all of them. I know all about this rap beef shit. Drake is not ready for no underground beef shit. But as you can see, they're not gonna, they ain't beefing, you know, there's no diss. Maybe there was some tension a little, but I don't believe there was any really, any real beef going on. I believe that guy was starting a rumor with, let's drop the camera. I believe the guy, he was just, Starting a rumor, and that's how rat beef starts. Somebody starts a rumor. Usually, this is how rat beef starts. Somebody start. Somebody has a rumor. The rumor gets out, and word and word and word association goes back between the artist. One gets on a track, and then it just goes from there. But as you can see, Drake and Em, they're they're friends. I mean, they like each other. The artist Eminem said he was honored to be on the stage with Drake, and Drake said. <laughs> That Eminem was the best rapper to hold grab all the mic, which me personally, I believe that. Dre Eminem, he's his rhymes are so complicated and all of them are like so squished together and he gets so many words in and they all rhyme and it all make sense and he tells a story and he sends a message and his rhymes are just great. I just love his music so much. Eminem was like one of the second rap artists I knew about once I got introduced to hip hop as a young kid. I love hip hop music myself. You know, I wanna make music and stuff like that, but Eminem was like the second artist I knew about. First it was 50. The first rap song I ever heard was um, by 50 Cent because when I grew up I literally, I just listened to classic rock and um, I still do to this day. As you can tell I just dress all black. But that don't mean you listen to rock though. Maybe you just like black. I love black clothes but I do love classic rock music.
but I also love hip hop music. But I believe Eminem is the overall best rapper to ever do it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Kodak. All the other rappers that you think are the beast, like designer and all the motherfuckers. No, they can't touch Shady. They can't. They're good, but they can't. Like Lil Wayne's a talented rapper. People think he's not, but he actually kills it. He, I listen to Lil Wayne when I want to skate. He gets me hyped up, and this guy's gonna buy a truck. But yeah, I listen to Wayne when I skate because his music actually gets me amped. But Shady, dude, he he's helped me a lot in my life. His music has did a lot for me. It really has. And I just don't see Drake winning against him in a rap battle. But this is totally my opinion. Uh, people are gonna hate me because I said fuck Kodak and all that other whatever is it? his name is. Is he is his rap name after a camera? I believe it's after a camera. Kodak. Best quality cameras. Actually, I have a Kodak camera. I'm gonna need Kodak CDs. Is that his name? I'm curious. But this is just my opinion on the matter of the Drake and Eminem beef. I believe it's squashed. I don't believe they're gonna have any real beef. But you never know what's gonna happen. I do believe there's gonna be some tensions. I seen a video on YouTube. I didn't click on it, but the title said that Drake said something about the guy on the uh, radio show. So that's what I'm thinking about. There's gonna be some little bit of something going on between that dude and Drake. Drake's gonna subliminally diss him or something like that so uh i'm gonna get out of here and um i'll see you guys with another video later i need an intro quote and an outro quote you guys should help me with that you guys what should i i have a whole different video i'll see you guys people saying i ain't gonna diss them back little they know because i'm about to saying you pray for my family will fuck you and all of the praise you send little nigga because ain't no one asked you i was talking shit on snap yeah yeah i said